In today's gospel reading, Jesus is teaching his disciples and also teaching us how to pray. One of the things that he says is that when we pray, he says, don't babble like the pagans who think they will be heard because of their many words. Jesus is saying there that there is no need for a lot of words when we pray. In fact, we have no need for any words when we pray. It is perfectly uh, okay to pray in silence, just to silently be with God in prayer. Second thing Jesus is saying is that when we pray, we should give praise to God, which is what the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father Prayer does. Whatever else or however else we pray, our prayer should always be one of praise and thanks to the God who made us. Third, Jesus says, your Father knows what you need before you ask him. And so, yes, we should ask for what we need in prayer knowing that we may not get what we need at all times, but that no matter what happens, we can trust that the God to whom we pray is with us. And finally, Jesus is saying in this gospel, when we pray, don't worry about getting it right, that God already knows what we're going to pray for before we even pray. There is a story about the great uh, monk and mystic Thomas Merton in one of his books in which he says that for a while there was a period when he used to fall asleep during the prayer times with the monks. And for a long time he felt embarrassed about that. He felt that that was a defect in his prayer. But then he came to, real, to the realization that that was not a defect at all. It was just his body telling him that it needed to sleep. And so his conclusion was this, that the effort to pray is itself a prayer. So it is simply when we try to pray, whether we're distracted, whether it's hard to concentrate, whether we fall asleep, that doesn't matter. It is the effort to pray that itself can be our prayer.